I'd be surprised if by Christmas we don't actually know what's going on. Good morning. We're showered and ready to start this Thanksgiving thing. Go go. Outside. And I just took you the got turkey. To see a friendly neighbor dog that he likes to see. Yeah. And the turkey, we put it back in the fridge, and it's got ice on it now. So <laughs> wish us luck. I don't know what we're gonna do. I still, it's completely my fault because I haven't looked it up yet what to do. We're probably just gonna have to thaw it in the microwave. It's not like it's not too big, but we were thinking about brining it, but I feel like that kind of went out the window because we got really lazy. Yeah, can't brine a frozen turkey. That's true, can't brine a frozen turkey. So, I'm sure it'll be okay. We'll figure something out. We can improvise. Why are you excited? I think the next couple months are really going to end up determining where we end up like for the next few years. That would be really exciting to know that because we're waiting. Not in a bad way waiting because we're like trying to like have fun. But yeah. But I mean with all the response and things I've gotten from various people I, I'd be surprised if by Christmas we don't actually know what's going on. I bet it'll be by February. Well, maybe. I bet. I bet by Christmas I know who is really an option and who isn't. That's true. So. Happy dance! Happy dance! Are you gonna do a happy dance? Happy dance! There you go. This is a list of things I have to do today turkey, green beans, stuffing, carrots, mashed potatoes, gravy, cranberry sauce, pie, and. Husband checked off. I'm really excited. Like I feel like we should have been doing Thanksgiving at home. Oops. The whole time. Cause it feels relaxing, doesn't it? Like before it was not relaxing. Cause we had to like drive two hours, drive home. And it's not like we don't necessarily want to hang out with our family. But, I mean, I, I do want to hang out with him on non-holidays, right? Like, yeah, I mean, it actually is very, it makes things a lot more convenient when you can ad address boundaries with your family. No, we don't want to put that in. Edit! No, it's not. Edit! <laughs> Making pancakes. For breakfast, I'm really excited about them. I keep saying the word excited, so you know I'm really excited. Okay, here's my pie dough. It's a Martha Stewart recipe. I'll link it in the comments. It's very good. I've been using it for years and years and years. Except for I haven't really made pie in years, but I used to make pies all the time. We're getting back in that tradition, and we're watching still watching the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. This is a day. And Josh is frowning because I, I think the band is a little off because they can't hear each other. Maybe. Or maybe not. And I have flour all over my hands in the camera. It's Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving. What are you doing? What are you doing? Me and a monster? Yeah, and you're looking at mommy's mess. Somebody likes my mess. Josh is getting the turkey ready, stuffing some butter under it. We think we got it thawed, and our pumpkin pie is done with a little bit of a calamity as in I made the pie crust wrong so I had to go and make it again and we're watching the dog show the weenies didn't win but my weenie is my best in show always he's so cute 
Well, in my opinion. What are you doing, Weenie? Come here. No? I'm gonna get you. Come here. Oh, are you being bashful for the cameras? Come here. What's wrong? What's wrong, buddy? Oh, here you go. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> Since we got off to kind of a late start, we're getting ready to eat a snack, which is summer sausage and cheese. That's a lot of summer sausage. Salsa and chips. And Doug is pretty much not eating anything. But... He's playing in the bag. He's playing in the bag because he thinks there's food in there. What are you doing? in the bag? There he goes. We need digging. Okay, this is the aftermath. Turkey is semi-cut. Can't wait to make broth out of that. Here it is. Oops, that should not be on high like that. It's turkey gravy with giblets, mashed potatoes, and we got stuffing. Woo! Probably shouldn't do that. Stuffing and green bean casserole in there. I'm changed. My hair's brushed. I had to put it up because I'm hot. And Josh is ready to eat turkey. You're right. You are hot. <laughs> That's awful nice of you to say. And he's got, let me show you his rear. Breakfast stuff. He, I'm going to put this in the breakfast stout. He got it from Hy-Vee in Columbia and it was like a special one that you I don't really know much about it but it's called breakfast stout and it's special. Let's, let's go into this a little bit actually. A double chocolate coffee oatmeal stout. So. Oh that my my version wasn't good enough and to, I, it's the kind that you don't even put in the mar in the um, refrigerator for that long. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to this. And me? I think what it's 11 percent, something like that. So it should be fun. Looking forward to this. Yeah, he's been saving it for Thanksgiving. Sorry, it's only 8 percent. Still good. I should have got a drink. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. So we just saw a commercial that said something about waiting all day for Friday night or Thursday night. The Packers and Bears game. Yeah. And the reality is I have been waiting for this game all day. <laughs> he has. Honestly, I think that he was even like, we watched the Cowboys game on the internet and it like went off. And he was like, meh. But now. Yeah, no big deal. Because <laughs> this is a game that I wanted to see all day. <laughs> I've actually been waiting for this game since Sunday. Well, that was like four days. So. Go Packers! Maybe? Yeah, Go yeah. Go Packers! Today is pretty much all about food and football. Food and football! Um, this is my pumpkin pie. It's delicious. I mean, I don't know if it's delicious. It looks delicious. We're about ready to eat it. I think it's the first time I've ever made a pumpkin pie. Stay tuned. We'll let you know how it is. It's good. It's good. You're not going to lie? Josh? Funny thing is that this is like the year of Josh's taste buds changing because he used to not really care for pumpkin pie and he's eaten like five pieces. But I bet we're on our like. Oh, thick. it's. I mean, I like it. Do I like it as good as well as other pies? No. What but other pies do you like better? Apple. Apple. I like key lime better. Oh, key lime is good again, but it's like. Do I want five key lime pies in a year? No. I want like two. I want like two pumpkin pies in a year. I want I could five. Eat apple pie every other week. You could. And Probably. I never make it. Ever. I, I just did, like, we go to this restaurant 
well, we've been to this restaurant called CC's in our town. And like when you're eating, they like come around with like this like little um, metal thing to scoop off all your crumbs. I just did that to our table. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that if I weren't on camera probably. Would I? I would have. I would have. Mm -hmm. You wanna go potty? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, now he goes. It's rainy and he doesn't really. I keep, I'm like at the level of Josh's butt, so like you guys get like a good view. Stick it out, work it. This dog does not like the rain. As soon as um, we put the leash on him, he was like, ah, uh ah. -uh. But now he's going. Now he's going out there. As you can see, I'm not going out there. They predicted rain today, and it made it most of the day. It feels good. Like, it doesn't even feel like winter, so. What you thankful for? The future. And a nice dinner. And you and my dog. What are you thankful for? Pretty much the same in yarn. <laughs> I'm very thankful for Josh and the ability to live in a country where I can film whatever I want. Because that's also pretty special. We look pretty rough. This is called Turkey Throwdown. Could be called a lovely classic night. Yeah. I drank so much coffee today that I'm pretty sure that's why I'm still up. Happy Turkey Day! You'll be probably seeing this like a week from, or two from now. Maybe three at the rate I'm going. Peace out!